Good morning. Welcome to your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We have some pleasant conditions across the region this morning, seeing warm temperatures already in the upper 60s this morning. Going to see temperatures in the lower to mid 70s across the area today. Uh, no chances of precipitation and no chances of lightning across the area. So once again, we'll continue this streak of dry weather as well as unseasonably warm conditions. Taking a look at our current sounding from this morning, freezing level at 12,800 feet, winds out of the southeast around 10 to 15 knots in the low levels. And we see those winds briefly turn southwesterly around 6,000 feet, then back to the southeast. And light winds throughout the calm as we have an upper level ridge overhead, seeing a peak wind this morning at 25,000 feet at 23 knots. Our current surface analysis, we have a weak trough just off our coast down through the southeast coast that's going to be trying to move onshore today, possibly giving inland locations today a brief sprinkle or a light rain shower. But here at Wild should remain dry. We have another cold front well west of our area over the uh, Plain States into the Great Lakes. It's going to be uh, moving uh, over the Great Lakes the next few days. And that's going to uh, possibly give areas of the Southern Plains into Texas today as well, possibly into the Arctic region, some severe weather. But overall, for our weather today, high pressure remains in control and for the next few days. Just taking a look at our current satellite imagery, you can see we do have some clouds moving in from the ocean associated with that trough, uh, trying to move over the region. Also seeing a few spotty light rain showers associated with this cloud cover. Taking a look at the radar imagery, you can see a few rain showers of the Chesapeake day, Bay this morning, excuse me, and uh, also seeing some light returns uh, just to our east or southeast. Um, could possibly see this move on shore, but shouldn't see any rainfall with this. If we do, it would just be a uh, brief sprinkle. So taking a look at our European model for the next few days, you can see it does identify some uh, light sh rain showers in the center inland portions of the Delmar Peninsula or central inland and then we move into our Saturday you can see here high pressure remains in control and then for Sunday morning for our scheduled and Terry's launch looks like we're going to have good conditions overall the general weather have a slight chance of patchy fog as well as some low clouds across the region uh, but overall high pressure and control as this cold front approaching from the west uh, dies out over the Appalachian Mountains. Moving into Monday, we'll have high pressure once again in control. We'll have an upper level low uh, developing a weak area low pressure over the southwestern Atlantic Ocean. And that's going to be providing areas of the southeast into Florida. It's possibly some unsettled conditions for early next week. But here at Wallops, uh, for Monday and a Tuesday, we'll see another additional backdoor cold front move through with a stronger area high pressure building in. That's going to give us some breezy to windy conditions on Tuesday. And then for Wednesday, much the same as we have that area low pressure off to our south, high pressure off to our north, giving us those breezy onshore winds. Most likely we'll see an increase of our cloud coverage for Wednesday. And then a Thursday looks like finally the system possibly moves from the southeast states up into our region, giving us a chance of some rainfall. Models still uncertain on how quickly that system does move up into our area, however, for uh, the end of next week. Now, taking a look at our risk chart for today, green chart across the board. We'll see a high in the mid-70s today, a low tonight around 60. Southeast winds this afternoon, 6 to 11 knots, and becoming subtly overnight at 5 to 10 knots. Looking at VFR conditions, expect in the next 24 hours, a slight chance we see some patchy fog tomorrow morning, but most likely that will just be over the agricultural fields. For Saturday morning, going to see partly cloudy conditions expected with our tides slightly above normal for the next 24 hours. Looking at Saturday and Sunday, green charts across the board once again. Saturday, partly to mostly cloudy, slightly breezy and mild, high of 74. Saturday night, partly to mostly cloudy with a slight chance of patchy fog, low of 63. And for Sunday, partly mostly cloudy and mild, a high of 75. As I mentioned, that slight chance of some patchy fog Sunday morning. Overall, it doesn't look like a, a major weather maker across our region, just uh, some patchy fog during the morning hours. Looking into our next seven days, uh, going to see those warm temperatures continue through Monday with a high on Monday, expected 76. So that's going to continue with our 
Daytime highs and our overnight lows about 10 to 15 degrees above normal, so well above normal this time of year. And then we're going to see temperatures back towards normal for Tuesday and Wednesday in the lower to mid 60s, but uh, still slightly above normal uh, for the middle of next week with Thursday returning back to the 70s possibly uh, with uh, those mostly cloudy to overcast skies. We'll see some more breezy conditions I mentioned for Tuesday and Wednesday of next week as well. But uh, Thursday looks like if that system does finally move up into our region, it will vex some warmer air in our area. And that will give us some, once again, above normal temperatures uh, with a 20% chance of rainfall late Thursday. And we'll see how that system evolves once we move into next week for the end of next week. Well, that's going to complete our 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. I hope everybody has a great day today and a good weekend. We'll be back on Monday morning at 15 at 10 a.m.